How's it going, Tiny Little Hot Dog Cuties? Ben here, and today we are going to be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger-licking good dating simulator. And the reason why I wanted to play this game is because this game has been getting quite a lot of buzz on Facebook a couple of months ago when I was looking at Facebook, and I was really intrigued by it, and finally I have the time to invest in playing this game. And I think it's really funny uh, to check out how I do in this dating simulator because I haven't played a dating simulator in years, especially after starting medical school. I hadn't touched a video game in a long, long time. Maybe the last time I ever played a game was back in March of 2019, so this is new, and I'm excited to start doing some Let's Plays on this channel. So let's get started, and let's see how we end up doing in this crazy, wacky... We're gonna go with Benny as my name, because we're gonna make it cutesy, because this is a cutesy dating simulator. Okay, let's get started. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Okay, so why do I have a chicken rooster poster? And is that my family over there? Oh wait, no. It looks like I'm a K-pop fan. And for some reason, I also seem to really like old jewelry. But at least I'm hydrated, right guys? The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is in no time to sleep in. Is that my alarm clock? Oh guys, I just noticed that like there's th these red bands that like my character was is wearing but when I was in high school I had like characteristic red bands that I wore all the time and I actually stopped wearing it in my second year of college. So as far as representing me in this game, the red bands, they do have that right. Smack that clock up and at him or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Well, we're no slackers here so we're gonna smack that clock and get up because also that clock noise is very very annoying. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. So we have three repetition words, University, Cooking, and Academy, and Learning. So uh, I hope this is a good school, because it has so many repetitive words. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future. Uh, I'm not a daydreamer, so we'll go with this one. We gotta take it seriously! I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. Oh hell yeah! You burst through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Yes. I love a person who uses deodorant. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. See, that's where this game has me wrong. I always eat ramen for breakfast. I've actually been eating ramen for breakfast for the past, like, 15 years of my life. Just what you need to get the blood flowing, and it's a fresh, crispy, beautiful bis biscuit. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. This looks like... UGA, which is the school that I did not go to. I actually went to a school in the middle of the city. So uh, my my university was just a bunch of skyscrapers. So this, this looks a lot like a traditional old school college campus. Here comes your lifelong best friend, Miriam. This is so funny because I actually do have a really good friend in medical school named Miriam. And she looks very much like this girl without the green hair. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and Miriam in, in real life is actually very, very awkward, and you absolutely love her for it. And it's really cute, too. Good morning, Benny. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? I think that happened when I was born, Miriam. Actually, um, because I sure am excited, a little nervous, okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? I'm not sure that's how what that's how cooking works, Miriam. Classic Miriam, raised by a master chef parents. Oh, so she's privileged. Okay, she's always held herself to a very high standard. It's not like people who are, who don't have you know very famous parents can have high standards. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. Oh, the dreaded quicksand box. It's been clear to me that when you're the most loving, caring person I know, you're going to do great. 
by U University of Cooking School Academy for Learning famous three day only semesters. Sign me up, guys. I wish my school was only three days. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. Sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Okay, first of all, why? I think we should pep talk her and give her really, really bad advice. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? Ooh, tarot cards, they're so accurate. I actually had my tarot cards read and I got really excited by my tarot reading, so I'm such a hypocrite right now. Late, the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet and she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And that other card featuring handsome fellow in the red suit? I've been waiting for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. Miriam, I think you gotta focus on school. It's only three days long, so you have to. You can get a boyfriend after. I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk to, as you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves beginning to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Yeah, they're killer, all right, Miriam. Can you, can you believe I cut them myself? Yeah, I sure can, Miriam. But, okay, this game actually does know my personality quite a bit. Uh, I I cannot believe it. I ain't no liar. I'll tell it straight to her face. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Apparently I'm bougie too with my custom engraved, engraved measuring spoons. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. I don't get jealous. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Are you sure? Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Hey, don't call me chicken shins, even if I have chicken shins. Actually, my shins are very chickeny. You leave Benny's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins looks like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Yes, that's such a good insult. You have really weird insults. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man. Oh, that sounds suave. Has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Oh, okay, we have a narcissist here. His pants are so tight. Mm, I love my tight pants. You can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Oh, yeah. Um, Van Van, you rang right. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, look at that belt, that apron. He's just magnificent. You've never been sure what their arrangement is. Yeah, uh, I wonder that too. But as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow pe people like you to attend as students. What's that supposed to mean? I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Okay. See, we have cocky people here. With the first day of school about to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. I think I've already told them off. Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers. I feel like we're the bullies more than they are. We we dished out more insults than they ever did. As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid. See? We're incredibly insulting. Pushing hard against the window directly next to it. He's not goofy looking, he's just a kid. Although, why is a kid doing it in culinary school? Oopsie, I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. 
Uh, that should do the trick. Actually, I'm prone to doing that mistake, too. I love you. Hold on there, buddy. Think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Wow. Everybody is a savage in this game. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Benny. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Dang, I am all savage. Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? Miriam, I think he's a little too young for you. I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Is that a heart in the middle of that column? It looks like the silhouette of a heart, guys. Or maybe I'm in medical school too much. Also, is that my name in the... On the board? And why are they doing math? Why are they... Why are they in a science class? Where's the cooking utensils? Where do we learn cooking? This doesn't seem like a culinary school. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? I think that's our professor. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. Oh, so he's he's the he's also he's also he's also he also created the school. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! Why am I so excited about this? I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. I guess you have a point there. Out of nowhere, a wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of... Cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I wonder who it is. I'm chilly. Someone close the window. This is the kind of this is the kind of commentary I needed. And then he walks in. The dreamy Colonel Sanders. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. This reminds me of, um, in high school when I when I uh, when I first met this girl named um, let's say let's call her C, and she was like my biggest crush in high school. When she walked in the room, I was just like, "It's him! It's if it isn't my favorite student, Harland." Literally, this is the first day of school. How do you know he's your favorite student? Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles, sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. Why is everybody looking at me? And you're entirely not wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. First of all, it's a condition. Leave me alone. That's why I have to wear clinically medicated deodorant. Maybe we should open the window back up before faucet pits melt into a puddle and evaporate entirely. You guys are ableist. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? It's a condition. Besides, Benny sweats. It's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shiver. <laughs> Woo. Actually, my partner is a lot like this. <laughs> you take a moment to clean yourself up. Okay. I guess we'll just do it in the middle of the classroom in front of that many people. It's a good thing you didn't forget about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. 
Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary regions, past, present, and future, many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable, tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. And just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Dang, this professor doesn't seem to like this guy. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the first track out of here, young man. Are you sure you've, you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. This guy has been in this three-day school for three years in a row. They don't even name the poor guy. No one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. You can't even say his name. This professor is ruthless with this guy. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny... Oh wow, we have all sorts of students in this class apparently. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as if, as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Gee, thanks, I'm a broke student. I only, I only eat from the manager's special aisle at the grocery store. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. I do take a multivitamin every day. Never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. Let's give him a beef treat. You reach beneath your- By the way, how in the world did I even know that I needed to bring dog treats to this? You reach beneath your apron and return a small bit of beef jerky in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks into it. Beef? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. Oh no. I think we made the wrong decision, guys. You clearly do not belong here. Please remove your apron and then remove your- <gasps> Oh my god, he just kicked me out of school. Okay guys, we're back at the place that we left off and it looks like beef sheet doesn't work. So we have rubber ball and chicken snack. I bet this guy likes the lean mass diet so we're gonna go with chicken snack because he kicked me out of school for giving him a beef okay his eyes grow wide and he locks onto it please like it it's his favorite awesome well 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 i think there might be some competition for a new star student uh, the furry professor furry professor that's very uh you know what i mean immediately devours the snack leaving your hand slick with the coating of Warm doggy jewel. Yes, I love some warm doggy jewel on my hands. Right before I'm about to cook for a cooking class. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life. Wow, I am such a savage. They should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. So I was doing all of this standing up in the middle of the class. Hey Benny, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed a seat next to me, if you're interested. Okay, so I have two options, Miriam or the dreamy Colonel Sanders. So do I be a fake friend or do I sit with my crush? Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. So he's a slacker that comes off as confident, essentially. And uh, why is he a star student if he brings no notes with him at all? Thanks for offering me the seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the, do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. It's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me! <laughs> You're so funny, Pop, with your stain on your shirt. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you're ready for a life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? 
This is exactly how a question in medical school is actually written. Extremely looking at you, Pop. That's right. Let's burn other people while we're answering this quiz question. Forest is to a tree as chicken is to chicken is to feather. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? So he did mention spork earlier, so I'm gonna go with spork because I think that's the right answer. That's right. Awesome. What food is best for a broken heart? Uh huh. Camel meat as a staple in Middle Eastern countries, but I'm sure that this game is not culturally appropriate, so it's gonna make me answer a question that's more westernized. Okay, anything as long as it is prepared with love and not too much salt. A pancake that looks like a silly face. I'm gonna go with the first option. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a very good boy. He's the bestest boy. Your total score is five out of five. Nice, we got a perfect score, guys. We're gonna ace this three-day school, get all A's. Wow, be honest, did you cheat? No, I did not. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. Ooh, it caught his attention. I think you have a beautiful brain. Yes, that's not a weird compliment at all. Hot diggity Benny, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here because I think this is the second scene in the game so we can save. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to make more parts of this game until we finish in future videos along with my current lineup of videos I already make for this channel including transgender related content and medical school related content and my experience of being a medical student who also happens to be transgender. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want it and Follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm always uploading things there. And have a great one. This is Ben.